Hello everybody, welcome back to Math 1351, more on Math, Chapter 11, Section 1. <clears throat> Sorry about the lecture t taking over an hour. It's, I mean, it's a lot of stuff to talk about. Alright, let's look at the homework problems for Chapter 11, Section 1. Determine if each of the following statements are true or false. If false, explain why. So the first one. Two intersecting lines are coplanar. Remember what coplanar means. They're both on the same plane on the same plane. So are is that a true statement? <clears throat> if they're on the same plane, here's one line, here's another line. It could be in any sh way, shape, matter, form. <clears throat> but if they're intersecting, now if they can't be, if they're intersecting, can't be parallel, so that's not right. Those two lines could be skewed lines and would be non coplanar. That's a possibility. It could be a true statement. So yeah, these two say the same thing. So the country so it has to be B. It is a true statement. <clears throat> Three non collinear points are always coplanar. Yeah, that's by definition. We have a plane, we have three points, three non-collinear points, so we have two of them to create a, yeah, so you have that, and the plane could be anywhere on that. Yeah, so you can create, there's always a plane that does it, so yeah, so it's always true. So in other words, if you have two lines, think of of a sheet on a drawing line, of, of a, of a, bed cover on a drying line outside it's on the drying line and once it dangles down you can put a dot on the bottom or anywhere on that sheet and that's those are three um colon non collinear points number c two planes can intersect at exactly one point Two planes can ex intersect at exactly one point. Well, no, planes. That has to be false. So it's false because they intersect exactly two... No, that's not true. It's infinite points. It's false because they intersect at a line. That's not true. False because they can intersect in a line, empty space, or in a plane. So two planes can intersect at exactly one point. False. Two planes can intersect in a line and empty set. They could be parallel or they could be the same length. So it's D. Number C. Letter C says a, a line segment that number there D. A line segment contains an infinite number of points. A line segment contains an infinite number of points. True. No, it has all points between them, so that's not true. It is, I think it's true. Statement is false because line segment only contains a point between and defined in points. Yeah, but the points between them, there are an infinite number of points. So the number of points in line segment contains depends on its no, it, not length. So it's B. And the last one. The union of two rays is always a line. The union of two rays is always a line. Okay, I have a ray here, and I have a ray here. It creates an angle. It's not a line, so it's got to be false. Or it could be a single ray. It's not always a plane. It's not true.
It can't be a line segment because the ray goes on infinitely. So it's B. Okay, numbered. Name two rays that contain the following line segment. GJ. Okay, so KG is one of the lines. Name two rays that contain the following line segments. Okay. KJ, that's a ray, and it contains GJ and itself. GJ itself. Or GH. XL. XL. So, I mean, we have KL, we have XL. Yeah, so it's KL and XL. Can't be YL because it's not. Yeah, so it's, it's those two possibilities. Select two rays that contain. So we know it's KJ. HL, no, that's not right. JG, FX, no. So, so this one's got to be LH. Uh, LH, nope. FY, nope. XG, nope. XL, and KL. Use a pyramid to complete parts A through F below. What is the intersection of line segment AB and line segment CE? So AB, CE, it's an empty set. What is the intersection of planes ADE? That's that plane BCE that's this plane and ABC that's the bottom so ABC just that and that those two lines but it says all three of them. There is no intersection between all three. <clears throat> what is the intersection of line BE and BC? So BE and BC. What is the intersection? It's not an empty set because it's two lines. So that's that one and that one. It's not a plane because there, there are lines. Point B or point C? So BE is this one. BC is that one, so it's point B. Which part of lines are skewed? AB, CD, that's parallel, CE, BE, you know, they're intersecting, AD, CE, AD, BC, no, AD, CE, because a, D, C. They're going different directions. Non-coplanar. 
Find a pair of distinct parallel lines and choose from the correct list below. B E A D no. B E B C no. A D C E no. A D B C A D B C is right. They're parallel. Find a plane <coughs> not determined by one of the triangle f triangular faces or by the base. Find a plane not determined by one of the triangular faces. Okay. So let's see. C E D. C E D. That's one of the already. A E C. That's not defined. A. So it's A E C. Because so that goes from one corner to the other corner. From one corner to the corner. Determine how how many acute angles are determined in the figure below. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. Now start from this one, and it goes through all possibilities. Then do the next one and all the way up. So there's 14 possibilities. In parts A and B of the following items, relationships among the marked angles are given by the figure. Ah, these figures. Find the measure of the marked angles in parts C. In part C, find only the measure BOC and tell why it's here. So let's look at the first one. Measure of angle AOB. Alright, so this tells us more about it. Measure of angle AOB is equal to one seventh the measure of angle DOC. Alright, so we have angle AOB plus angle BOC plus angle COD. So we have all three angles. Together they have to equal 180, but it's a straight line. We know that this one's 90 degrees. AOB is one seventh of that one. So subtract ninety from both sides. We have one seventh plus one. This is seven over seven, so it's eight seventh. Measure of COD, subtract 90. So let's multiply 7 over 8 both sides. So the measure of angle COD two goes in there, two goes in there forty five times. So forty five times seven twenty thirty seven times four is twenty eight thirty one. Four goes into the three fifteen. Four goes into thirty one. 
eight times or seven times twenty eight. So measure of C O D Yes is seventy eight seventy five. So we have seventy eight seventy five plus ninety. So we got, subtract that from one eighty, you get eleven point two five. So it's eleven point two five. This is 78.75, this is 90, and this is 11.25. Equals, all equals 180. All right, next one. Measure BOC, measure okay. We know that these equal 90. Measure of AOB is 30 degrees less than 9 times measure of BOC okay so AOB is equal to 30 less than 9 times BOC That's what that says. Three less. Okay, so that's that. So we know that AOB plus BOC equals ninety degrees. And AOB is 9 times BOC minus 30 plus BOC equals 90. Add 30 to both sides. So 9 plus 1 is 10 BOC. 90 plus 30 is 120, divide by 10. BOC is equal to 12. So if that's 12 degrees, 90 minus 12 is 78. That has to be 78 degrees. All right, this BOC measure BOC BOC is X plus Y. I figure out what X and Y are. All right, so I know that two, three, four Y, one, two, three, four X, four Y plus no. Let's see, I know that I know that ninety degrees is equal to three X. So
and 90 degrees is equal to 4y plus x. Since 90, so I know that 90 equals 90, so it's 3x, 4y plus x, subtract x, that 2x equals 4y, divide by 2, so x, 1x is equal to 2y. So, let's look for, we need 1x and 1y. So, I have 2y, it's 1, so I have x, x, 6x equals 180, so x is equal to 30 degrees. And since x is 30, y is 15. So 30 plus 15 is 45. Because 30 equals 2 times y. So exactly the exact value of x and y cannot be determined because the figure only gives you enough information to find the the sum. Precisely, yeah, sum to find x and y more information about the relationship between x and y or the value such as a o no a o d is. Yeah, I have no EOD. Because that just contains all the um, Y values. All right, so that's number five. In the figure below, A is parallel to B. Line A is parallel to B. And O is the center of the circle. Complete parts A through E. Okay, the measure of arc BC. BC, that's 52. That's BC, so it's 52. Arc CD. That's 128. Here's CD, there's the angle. A, D, 52. A, B, it's 128. And the arc A, B, C, A, B, C. Since you said it's a straight line, 128 plus 52 is 180. Or 7. Determine the size of the angle of the pieces of a circular puzzle if the pizza is cut into equally sized slices in the following number of pieces. So a circle circular pizza, so it's 360 degrees. So the first one, if it's cut into three pieces. So 360 divided by 3 is 120. Next one, 360 divided by 6. 6 goes in 36 six times, so 60 degrees. 20 pieces. 
So 360 divided by 20. The zeros cancel. Half of 36 is 18. And the last one is N. So it's 360 divided by N. Name three points in the diagram that are not collinear. Okay. Name three points. Here's the line. A A G E that one's on those are on the line. That's not it. U A E That's not on the line. If it has U it's not on the line. AGD's online, AED. So these are the possibilities. Because if it has U, it's non collinear. Alright, number nine. Determine the number of obtuse angles in the figure. So here we have one. Two, three, four. Now I can't count that. That's a right angle. That's a uh, straight angle. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Because it can't equal 90 or 180. So anything else. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six. Use the protractor to find the measure of the angles of parts A through D. So measure of C, A, B. So that's between there. I should maybe see you can get it closer. So the first one's asking for C A B. Ten twenty five. It's twenty-five degrees. From E A B. It's ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, hundred and ten. 115. F A D. These up here. So that's straight up and down. So that's 180. That's half the circle. Measure the reflex angle of C A F. Or angles are written this way, so I'll reflex angle I want this way. So it's C A F. One ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, ten. 20, 30, 135. That's a source. So 360 minus 135. Just 
225. Alright, that does it for section one.